Hey everybody, this is Miss Flawless. Today I'm going to do uh, my foundation review on the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Let's see if you can see. And just basically for my foundation. So let me get started and check my time. Okay, first I start with, I've already cleansed my face and washed it. So I'm starting with the MAC Studio Moisturizer. And this will give you a nice glowy dewy kind of feel and I'm just going to work that in with my fingers um, you can use a foundation brush but I just like to use my fingers for quick quickness I'm on time today so I don't know if this is the first video where y'all see me without makeup but here it is Okay, I have like oily combination skin, so I normally get oily through my T-zone, which is here, so, and very, very dry here, so if you notice, I'll put extra on the side of my face. <clears throat> Next, I'm going in with Rimmel's. Um, fix and perfect and you can get this at CVS also sometimes I'll use the MAC matte uh, silicone base but I found that I like this just a little better and once again with this I'm going over my t-zone it helps to dry out the t-zones and the dry spots I mean excuse me the oily spots and if you notice, I didn't really use a lot on the cheeks. And I'm going to go back once again through my T-zone where I get oily normally, which is through my nose. And if you need or would like a request on um, a video on what good skin cleansers to use just let me know leave it in the comment box and I'll let you know what's good for combination oily skin okay now that was the fix and perfect we've done the moisture by MAC now I'm also going to do a review on the MAC studio fix um, makeup by Nita J she said she liked it so I went and purchased it and I bought the pump with it also. It doesn't come with the pump. I gave myself two squirts. Now I'm not going to do any concealing only for the sake of time and actually my bags aren't too where they are. <laughs> and then I may go back and do some later and I'm just trying to get my two pumps worth here and I will say what I do like about now I'm going in with the 109 brush what I do like about this foundation um, if you notice before I put foundation on I have freckles and moles and um, I like them but sometimes with no makeup it's like too many it looks to me like dirty skin so that's one of the reasons I wear foundation but with this um, studio fix fluid it hides them but at the same time it highlights them and you they're noticeable you see them but they're not covered and it's not a full coverage over top of them and I do admit I like full coverage um, foundation but this right here is like and you can build it up to the level that you know you want it so if I wanted more I could add more but like I said I do like to um, see my freckles but not as much and you're just gonna buff
and drag it down. Also, if you would like to see a video on how I contour and sculpt my face, um, once again, leave it in the comment box. Okay. And there you have it. I don't know how the lighting is doing, but it's much better from the before picture. I mean, and this is perfect. Like I said, with camera and lighting, I'm not for sure how it shows, but if you can see. But with the naked eye, it's flawless. It matches my skin perfect. Um, I'm an NC45, so this is NC45. And I like it. And it's very light to touch. So that is my foundation um, routine and my review on the MAC Fluid Fix. Fix Fluid. Thank you for watching. Bye. I forgot to mention that I set with the 150, the MAC 150 brush, and my Studio Fix, which is also NC45. And I just wanted to throw this out there. And I also use the Fast Response Eye Cream by MAC. And I think I did um, MAC um, Spring Forecast. Uh, haul and let you all know that I got this but I wasn't for sure who I'd seen it from I had seen it from someone else but I was watching one of my Hogany's videos the other day and she mentioned it and she mentioned putting it in the refrigerator so that's what I did I put it in the refrigerator and I put it on after I cleansed my face and then went in with the moisturizer also I wanted to show you all with a finished look today this is like my everyday look so I didn't do any contouring. I did go back in with, um, I don't have it in front of me, but my NC45 um, concealer up under the eyes. And I set it with the um, Fix Plus. Um, as far as lips, I did like L'Oreal. I put the NYX pencil, the milk, on my lip. Went in with L'Oreal. This is something I got for CVS that was 75% off. I didn't take off the tag to let you know the name of it. But I thought this was really cute. I didn't notice it until I got ready to use it. It was my first time using it. I don't know if you can see. But it has L'Oreal right there. You can see it right here. L'Oreal. And I thought that was so cute. Well, you can see it a little further back. I thought that was really cute how they did that. So now I really don't want to use it. But at any rate, after I did the milk on my lips, um, I put it went in with the L'Oreal. I used the NYX lip pencil like in brown, medium brown. And then I went back over that with my Spring Forecast um, by MAC Kumquat. And did my eyebrows and some liner. I used the 88 palette by Coastal Scents. And I did not highlight or use a um, base. I just wanted to just throw a little shadow on. So this is like my everyday look. Um, thanks again for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment, rate, and please subscribe. Thank you very much and I appreciate your time. Bye.